Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're facing ego dumper crash, crashing, fridging or performance issue with F1 2021 game on your computer. Now in case if you're receiving ego dumper error, do not close the error message. You can simply drag it down to the bottom of the screen and continue the game. And you can also try to play the game in window mode and that should go ahead and help you to fix the problem. Now the next step is to delete the F1 2021 folder from the documents or my games folder. Now doing this will delete all the game progress. So go to file explorer, so open file explorer and then go to, go to documents and then over here you will find F1 2021 game folder. You have to go ahead and delete it or you will find it under my games. So open my games and make a right click on F1 2021 and then click on delete and then try to launch the game. The next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for Nvidia, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then click on search and then click on download and then run the exe file and then you will see this screen. So click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on next and after the installation restart your computer and then try to launch your game. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, so if you have Avast, Norton, McAfee, Bitdefender, so any antivirus you have you go ahead and allow the game exe file to your antivirus program or you can in case if you're using windows security in that case you can go to start menu then click on settings click on update and security and then click on windows security then click on virus and threat protection and scroll down over here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed in my case it's d drive so open the steam library folder and then open steam apps then open the common folder now over here you can see f1 2021 game folder over here open this game folder and then select the game exe file in my case the game is still downloading so i don't have the exe file over here so open this game folder and then select the game exe file then click on open and once the game is added over here you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game file. So go to Steam, select the game, make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and once the verification is done, try to launch the game. The next step is to install Visual C++ file. So copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down, over here you can see x86 and x64 version over here. Install both x86 and x64, so click on both the exe file over here and then run both the exe file. So click on repair or install whatever you see over here. So click on run and then click on repair or install whatever you see. And then click on yes to allow run the second file as well click on repair or install click on yes to allow and once this is done you will see the restart option over here and once both the file are installed you can click on restart or you can close this window or you can go to the start menu then click on power icon and click on restart and then try to launch the game the next step is to update Windows 10 to the latest version. This has worked for many users. So make sure that your Windows is up to date. So go to the start menu and then click on settings, then click on update and security and then click on check for update. And once the update is installed, you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now, in case if you face any problem while updating your Windows 10, in that case, you can go ahead and type in media creation tool in Windows search box and then go to Microsoft website in Google, you can type in media creation tool and go to Microsoft website. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download tool now and then by default upgrade this PC now will be selected. So select upgrade this PC now and it will download the complete Windows 10 file along with the latest update. 
Now, this process will take some time. So, uh, once the download is complete, you can go ahead and install it. Before the installation, you will see the option which says keep my files. So, during this installation, during the installation of Windows 10, uh, you will see the option which says keep my files and by default, the option will be checked. When that option is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer and then that will go ahead and update your Windows 10 to the latest version and after that, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. The next step is to run the game as an administrator. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, then click on manage, then click on browse local files and it will take you to the straight away to the game installation folder. So open the game folder and select the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file. In my case, I don't have the exe file. My game is still downloading. So you open this folder and then select the game exe file. So I'm showing with different application, just an example. So make a right click on the game exe file, then select properties, go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says disable full, full screen optimization and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply ok and then try to launch the game so you have to do this with the game exe file so open the game folder and then make a right click on the game exe file then select the option run as admin and disable full full screen optimization and then try to launch the game the next step is to try launching the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from here from steam you can straight away go to the game installation folder you can make a right click and then select manage then select browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder and try to launch the game from the exe file from the game installation folder the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card so if your computer has a dual graphic card one is amd or nvidia and other is intel integrated graphic in that case you can make sure that you're running the game on the dedicated graphic card for this go ahead and type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again so open the steam library folder and then open the steam apps common then open the game folder over here and then select the game exe file from this folder and then click on add and once the game is added over here you have to click on options and then select high performance then click on save so just click on the game f1 2021 exe file over here this is just an example once the game is added click on options select high performance and then try to launch the game the next step is to disable steam overlay for this make a right click on the steam go to steam make a right click on the game and then select properties and then uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then try to launch the game the next step is to close all the overlay applications. So if you have any other overlay application running on the computer, so if you have GE Force Experience running, go ahead and close GE Force Experience. Now, if you have Discord running on the computer, go ahead and close Discord. So make sure that you close all the overclock, uh, overlay application on your computer and then disable Steam Cloud Save for this. Again, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then uncheck the box which says keep game saves in steam cloud for f1 2021 and then try to launch the game also perform clean boot for to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case it's grayed out i already did it so put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply ok then you will see the restart option restart your computer and then try to launch the game close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi after burner running on the computer go ahead and close it now in case if you have a reverb tuner running on the computer go ahead and close reverb tuner so so if you have any kind of uh, overlay overclocking application running on the computer go ahead and close all the overclocking application and also close all the background applications so you can close all your browser all the other application just make sure that your steam and the game is running just the steam and the game and then try to launch the game now you can also go to start menu and then click on settings and in the search box you can go ahead and type in background apps and then click on background apps and you can go ahead and turn this off and then try to launch the game the next step is to try to lower down graphics settings so if your game is set to ultra or high settings you can go ahead and lower down settings you can select medium or maybe lower settings and then try to play the game that should definitely improve the performance 
and you can also go ahead and turn the texture streaming to lower settings this has worked for many users so you can try this and still you are facing the problem you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game so you you can make a right click on the game then select manage then click on uninstall the game and after the uninstall you can go ahead and restart your computer so after uninstall delete all the game files from the game installation folder and then restart your computer then reinstall the game and that should go ahead and fix the problem now this has worked for many users so it might work for you so for many users resetting the computer doing a clean installation of windows 10 has has worked for many users so it might work for you but when you reset your computer this will result in data loss to reset you can go to the start menu then click on settings so before you perform reset you can go ahead and create a backup for all your data and application because you might lose all the data on the computer but this has worked for many users it might work for you so go to start menu then open windows 10 settings then click on update and security then click on windows recovery click on recovery over here and then over here you can see the option which says reset this pc click on get started now over here you can see two options keep my files remove everything keep my files will remove application and settings but it will keep your personal files remove everything will remove all your personal files apps, apps and settings so select the option which you want so we can select keep my files and then select local reinstall then click on next and after the reset you can go ahead and reinstall the game and then try to launch the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get the game working so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel